All right, guys, yeah, just got a lens, so we're gonna see what's inside of the lens. Well, what's inside of the box? We're gonna see what the lens is. I need a pair of scissors. There it is. Alright, let's open this up. Oh, look at this. This looks nice. It's a 55 to 200, 250. What is it? 55 to 250. Is that good? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Alright guys, I'm about to put this on the camera. Alright guys, so right now I have this lens on the camera, and um, it's a 55 to 250 millimeter lens, and we're just going to zoom in all the way, and look at that, see that nice lens right there, that's my old lens, really short, and hold on, oh, now I'm going to do a comparison. Alright, now we're on my old lens, and we're going to zoom in all the way, and this is what you would see zoomed out on that lens so big 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 difference and pretty amazing too so there you go hey guys so once again i'm testing my lens out here in the rain i want to yeah it's in the rain but i want to walk around a little bit just to see how this lens works it is like a 55 millimeter so if i like put it up to my face even hold it you would like zoom down on my face and stuff so it's not an stm lens but it's it's a really good lens i'll tell you that it's better than I was actually gonna get. We can zoom in all the way over to the neighbor's house. All the way down to Dana's house. That's Dana's house right there. We zoom out and we're just right here. So this is actually pretty amazing. Let's zoom in all the way there, see what's going on in there. Um oh, it's freaking cold rain too, but it's warm out. Um just zoom in, see what's going on over at Lars's. Look at that. Oh my gosh. This is freaking amazing. Alright, I'm gonna head back into the house. Alright guys, so now I'm doing a low light test with my new lens because, you know, it's, a, it's different. I'm on full. I have the ISO turned up all the way on the camera. And, um... This is so weird not being able to turn the camera on in my face with this lens. So this lens is a little more frustrating when it comes to recording just because it's a 55 millimeter and there's no way I can zoom it out anymore. That's the the lowest focal length in this lens. It's kind of frustrating, but I like this lens a lot and just, you need to get attached to it so quickly. Both me and the camera. So if you zoom all the way, we can go down there and see. Nah, you, you guys don't need to know whose house that is, but just the person down the street, I'll describe them as. And then when we zoom out, we're right here, looking at Fuzzy. Little Fuzzy. Look at that. So, it, I think the other one says better in low light, just because this is, I guess, uh, more zoomed in focal length, I guess. Would, I don't know, maybe it's apertures you know higher the higher aperture the lower the light you know the smaller the aperture is it's bigger it's confusing guys when it comes to photography the smaller the numbers the more lights let into the camera it's weird um, if I turn this back down to normal you guys should be able to notice the difference when I turn it back up to see it's a little brighter I'm not going to zoom in on the neighbor's house like that. This makes me a weird creep. I'm not a weird creep, guys. So That's a low light test for this lens. And then we're going to compare it to the other lens. Right, then we've got so. the old lens. I can immediately tell 
a difference in low light. This does a lot better in low light. I don't know if that's just because the deck is more lit up at night, and if you went on the other ones and looked at the deck, it was more lit up, and it just gives the illusion because you can see more of the deck. This is what the lens was seeing completely, you know, zoomed out. This 55 millimeter focal length. Um, this is my vlogging my video lens. I need to get in the light so I can tell when this is in focus. I think it's focused so you guys can see my face and stuff. I can use this lens for vlogging, the other lens for photography, and just different types of videos. So, yeah, you know, it's, it's weird. Um, So, yeah, that's the suns. I just wanna, I'm gonna do a photography comparison tomorrow. It's supposed to be nice out, you know. I can really, you know, show the differences when it comes to pictures. I feel like the colors and everything is gonna be the same as it's the same camera. The body does some of the work, but the lenses are what really matter. And different lenses can determine the sharpness and you know how soft or sharp a picture is, how good it looks. So. Always pick the better lenses, not the cheaper lenses, because you may think a lens is a lens. Cheaper or not, it's going to be a great picture, but if you want a more sharper picture, then get the more expensive lens. I mean, if, if you can't afford it, then try to work something out, you know. You can find some cheap lenses that are still good, but it's pretty hard to. So, what can I say when it comes to stuff like this? I don't know. Nothing, I guess. It's so weird using this old lens of the camera because it's so much lighter. Who's that? Stephen Colbert. Didn't you say you, you watched Steve Urkel or something? Stephen Colbert. Uh, I like you said Steve Urkel. It's weird. Alright, I'm going to shut off the camera.